Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. Just uh, driving down the road here. Uh, Christian, Mauricio, and uh, Nasari are following me in the white truck there, and then Sam's a little ways back. He's coming with the telehandler. We're uh, driving to a farmyard that's about uh, 20 miles over the road west of uh, our farm. Taryn bought a, uh, or bought, and it's it's free, we just have to pick it up. She uh, spoke for a, an old grain bin that somebody uh, is getting rid of on their farmyard to make room for uh, another bin, I think. So they were, uh, I think there was a, a row of four or five of them that were uh, free for anybody to pick up. Uh, you just have to get them out of there here in the next few weeks. So she wants, uh, one of those bins to make a, a patio out of it or a covered covered patio out of it in the backyard so we're we're heading over there right now to uh, see if we can uh, disassemble it so we're just taking the top ring and then the roof and a, a friend of mine he uh, also spoke for one of the bins we're gonna meet him out there and uh, help each other out a little bit for, uh, with uh, taking the two bins that uh, we each spoke for so he's probably out there already if uh, not he should be out there pretty soon we're about seven miles away or so I think it's kind of a there's no straight shot of over gravel to get there so it's kind of a, a zigzag back and forth but we uh, yeah, should be there in about 10 minutes or so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes uh, bins are still in fairly decent shape it's uh, 18 feet in diameter and yeah, like I said, we're just taking the top ring. The friend of mine, he wants to take. So there's four it's four rings, but the bottom ring is concreted in, the, and they poured a concrete floor inside after setting the bin that's up inside the bottom ring. So I don't think he's planning to take the bottom ring, but he wants to take the top three rings. But we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes when we get there. Hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Just unbolt it, lift it up, set it on the trailer, and then uh, haul it back home is the plan. I don't think we should have to worry about height with power lines because we're just taking the top ring and I think width wise we're good everywhere we have to cross the tracks in one spot and there's uh, they've got the markings on either side of the tracks I think that will be close but I think we should be fine so we'll uh yeah we'll, we'll see when we get there how things go here today we're at the farmyard here. This is the bin that we're taking. So we're just going through now and Christian Mauricio and Mario are inside. We're taking the bolts out, so we're gonna take this ring of bolts out. And in theory we'll be able to hopefully lift lift this off. Leave the bottom right here. Tell handlers here. Shane's not here yet, but he should be here shortly, but we're gonna get started here. He's got something with him or he's got a, a, I think the plan is to just use a tire inside with the chain out the top and lift it up that way. Apparently that uh, should work, so we'll find out.
got the ball. go really close to the front. Two hours later and we're on the road. You guys can see that. That didn't go too bad. I am a little concerned about the 2x4s being strong enough going over bumps, but we stopped to check once already. Everything's still looking really good shape. If we get halfway, maybe we'll stop again. Hopefully we get it there in one piece so it wasn't for nothing. So a few days later here, didn't get a chance to end the video. I don't remember what I was calling it in the video, but what, what we're uh, going to put in the backyard is a grain bin gazebo. That's uh, the name I was looking for. In our heifer barn here, just thought I'd uh, show you guys the heifers. Didn't really have uh, anything particular I wanted to uh, end the video with. I thought I could show you uh, we did start getting in uh, 
round bales of barley straw. I'll walk over to the hay shed there and show you guys. Just started stacking those bales. It's always a little bit of a challenge getting started. So it took me a little bit, but we're going. And uh, if they have good weather, I think they're gonna, we're gonna be hauling quite a few bales in here over the next uh, couple weeks. That's the plan anyways. So like I said, just started stacking in here. Starting uh, on the back is always a little bit challenging when we're stacking like this because you're trying, you want to offset them a little so they don't fall back, but you don't want to offset them too much because then they don't stay up straight. But uh, seems to be uh, going okay here so far. So we're, we're four high here right now. Once we get the second line up to four, then I'll put a fifth one kind of ha on half of uh, both both those first two lines. And then once we get out a little further yet, then we'll go six high. So we stack them this way to try to uh, make the most use of this space in here. Try to be as, as efficient as possible in here. The square bales would be more efficient, but round bales are uh, more available locally. So try to make that work in here and try to get as many round bales in the shed here as uh, we can. So we stack them this way, uh, seems to be the most uh, efficient way for us because we've got a, this big area to work with. But I'll, I'll talk more about that as uh, we have more straw coming in. Uh, we do have to haul some ourselves off uh, some fields also, but that's still a few weeks away. That's gonna be wheat, straw. Nothing in particular that I wanted to show you guys in the heifer barn here. I just uh, think I might have mentioned it in the past, but I always enjoy looking at the heifers in here. Just seeing how they're doing. It's always good just uh, just to take a step back and just look at them. Make sure they're still growing good. And nothing uh, sticks not. out. It was a hot day today. It was uh, mid 90s. It's cooled off quite a bit now already, but uh, definitely was a was a hot one for the cows today. It's supposed to be back down to a high of uh, mid 60s tomorrow, so that's quite a drastic change. But I'm sure the, the cows and the heifers will uh, enjoy that cooler weather. I also don't really have any reason to uh, get home quickly because uh, Taryn is working nights at the hospital this weekend. And Ian and Eli are with uh, their uh, grandparents, with their grandma and grandpa. So it's just... Uh, a cat and a dog at home waiting for me. Just relaxing. Uh, mentioned a while ago that we had changed our uh, uh, our milk feeding program to our calves. I think the next video I'd like to talk about that how that's been going And we are currently doing a trial with calf starter. So the feed that our uh, calves get as uh, baby calves up to uh, I don't know 100 days roughly uh, Doing a trial on a group of calves uh, I'll talk more about that in the next video but I uh, questions comments on uh, this video post them down below i'll try to answer them if i can appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video